And we're looking at new data this afternoon that shows more women are saying no to motherhood than ever before. Yeah, the most recent census numbers show nearly one in six Americans, one in six, ages 55 and older, are without children. Additional research shows that more than a quarter of Michigan adults are saying no to kids as a conscious choice. Despite the growing demographic, child-free women say they constantly get stigmatized as selfish or someone who hates kids, and the judgment has really impacted their health care. 7 Action News reporter Amira David hears from two Michigan women opening up about those challenges of being in the minority. Hi, buddy. For Berkeley's Tara Heights, this is the picture-perfect family. One loving husband, three rambunctious rescue dogs, and exactly zero children. I didn't know it was possible growing up that you could just choose not to have kids. Tara did play house as a little girl, but never wanted to play mom. I don't remember ever really wanting to hold babies, but I liked other kids, so I just figured I would grow out of it. But she never really did. And when she met her now husband, who felt the same, her dream family would finally begin to take shape. Did you face some pushback? I faced pushback from kind of the oddest places. Shockingly, from health professionals. One incident in 2012, when Tara sought out a doctor to address her thyroid disorder. His response to me was, well, if you would stop being trying to be such a career woman and stay at home and have some babies, you wouldn't feel like this. When looking for birth control, another battle. Women's doctors, she says, refusing to prescribe the medications she wanted because of their potential impact on fertility. I went through three or four um, OBGYNs before I found somebody who would listen to me even a little bit. It sounds to me like you were simply not believed. How did that feel? You standing there who's just met me, telling me that you know better than I do what I want with my life after a two minute conversation, it's infuriating. I remember going in and I had heard about an IUD and so I went in and I requested it and they told me no. And I said, well, why? Well, cause you haven't had children. Kim Bodie spent her thirties facing the same stigma driven headwinds. I just think people fear what they don't understand. Motherhood and, and being a, a female, uh, apparently they have to go hand in hand. But that strong link between womanhood and motherhood is withering. A 2021 MSU study showing one in four Michigan adults don't want kids. I realized that not only were the numbers growing around the world, but that there were other women in exactly the same place. Karen Malone Wright is the founder of the NotMom.com, a supportive space where women without kids, by chance or choice, can tap into community. She's long tracked the growing trend of child-free women. The number one reason that people give when asked by surveyors is, I just don't want to. For Tara and Kim, career commitment was a driving factor, but so was the desire to contribute in other ways, through volunteerism, by being a rescue dog mom with 10 pups between them, and by staying engaged as an aunt to their siblings' kids. Do you feel any less happy for choosing not to have kids? Absolutely not. Like I, I love my life. I love, um, I love my dogs. I love, you know, my husband's fantastic. I think my message would be, you can live a great life without it. You can still have a family. You can, it just might look a little different than other people's. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Thank you, Amira. And you can follow our two America series on our website, WXYZ.com. Important conversation.